I felt like my organs were moving down and I was very open and things were not in the right place. On the outside, April Life Letter looks like the picture of health. But the 42-year-old had been struggling with a very private and embarrassing problem for more than 15 years. It all started after she had her first child. I started to have problems going to the bathroom and uh, my gynecologist said that it was, that was normal, it was fine. And then after the second and the third one, it just got increasingly worse. While most women bounce back after giving birth, this was not the case for April. She had literally internal hernias, bulges into the vagina, things falling down. After searching long and hard, April finally found Dr. Lori Romanzi, who just opened a very unique medispa called FIT, which stands for Pelvic Health Integrated Techniques. What I've done is I've taken everything out of the urogynecology reconstructive pelvic surgery office that we use for patients who are literally having major problems and making it available to anybody. After hearing about the spa, I was really curious, so I stopped by for a tour. There are many women now, I think, that they're coming not only because of your surgical talents in, in fixing a lot of the physical problems, but also a lot of women are coming for the so-called plastic surgery, the vaginal plastic surgery. Tell me about some of those women. They're coming in to have their labia reduced, they're coming in to have the perineum reconstructed. All sorts of cosmetic things are coming to the fore. On the menu of services, a woman will find everything from contouring to wrinkle reduction and skin tightening. She went in and, and put everything back where it should be so that I can jump on the trampoline, I can chase my kids, I can pick them up without anything happening. So what about the other aspects of her life? How's your sex life today? Huh. <laughs> I have a new husband, so it's great. <laughs> and remember, ladies, don't forget about those Kegel exercises. I'm Dr. Manny, Fox News.